Hello everyone, welcome back to the TensorFlow tutorial series. Last time we already talked about the uh, activation function we can choose from TensorFlow page. And this time we're going to talk about how to actually build a function that to add any layer you want. So basically it's just to say, to define at layer this function and put anything that's to describe the layer. So we uh, for layers we could have uh, we must pass an uh, input right pass the input into this layer from last layer. This is the information that's already been processed by last layer. Then put the uh, put them as the inputs for this layer. So this is the input, and we will have insights, which is uh, the the size for the input uh, information. It is to describe what's the size of this input or last layer, how many uh, hidden units for last layer or, or hidden neurons for last layer. This is the insides. And also the outsides for this layer, how many units or how many uh, neurons for this layer. So this is inside and outside. Um, and what is the activation function? Function for uh, this layer, we uh, define the default value as none, right? Before default value is non activation function. We don't put any activation function in here. Basically, it's a linear function. So this is all the information that we want to know to define this layer and uh, we have to define the weights that's based on the input size and output size so tf dot variable the weight is variable and tf dot random we could, we could use the random normal, random normal the normal distribution to generate the uh, the, the the weights so we should pass the size for the weights. So typically, the first dimension is the insides, and the second dimension over here is the outsides. So this is the, 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 the shape of the weights. Normally, we use the normal value, uh, the, the normal distributed or random value to the, generate the weights because uh, initial weights have to be uh, random, randomized because the randomized value uh, could improve the neural network better than the all the same value or the equal value. So, as the same as the bias, yeah, because we uh, capitalize the W because this shape is a two dimensional shape, so we capitalize the W, but for the bias, it's a um, one dimensional bias, so we just use the uh, lower case of b variable tf dot zero we could initialize as zero then we could plus 0 0.1 to in initialize all variables as 0 0.1 so this is uh, uh, the dimension of that is the one rows and uh, outside this number of columns outside because we need to make sure this outside is this outside the shape should be same because we, we want to we want to add the weights uh, to the bias so the, the size of output or outside should be same and uh, the, the compute process is to compute uh, W times X, this is the matrix multiplication, and uh, then plus the bias. Uh, that is to say the TF matrix multiplication, uh, we could have input, this is the input over here, times the weights. So we put the weights next to the input and then plus the, the bias. Yeah, this is 
weights times uh, the input x and plus bias. That's all. And then we could define. Um, if I show you this picture again, we define the weights and define the bias, and then calculate the weights with bias with the x, and then pass the value to the activation function. That is to say, we already calculated this one, then we're going to calculate uh, if activation function is none, then we do nothing about the activation function, so the output output is wx plus b, right? Else, output activation function. Then we'll put this one to our activation function. Then return return the output. So that is, we already defined this add layer function, then we, this one is ready to use. We'll use this add layer function later on in next tutorial and next example. So see you soon. If you have any questions, just leave the comments as below. And if you like my video, then you can subscribe to my channel and to access more uh, TensorFlow or machine learning tutorials. So see you next time. Bye.